Hi guys, so we are proceeding at page 278 and um, again, we are still at uh, the best uh, therapist guide and another book as well, as long as you know the um, from the uh, cellular level, level, uh, level. okay, uh, we are a trail guide to the body, okay, and we are presenting the pelvis and thigh and these are the bones of pelvis and thigh, okay, so the pelvis or, or the pelvic girdle uh, remember we did the sh shoulder girl though I, I have to um s say it very slow um please watch it again um this is a very important um joint okay so it consists of uh, the sacrum okay and the coccyx and the two hip bone okay so each hip which is the coxal right okay um, is formed by the fusion of three smaller bones, okay? The ilium, the ilium, the ischium, and the pubis. It's hard to sometimes look while in, in, in the phone. My apologies. I, I felt dizzy there for some reason. Okay. Although the pelvis is deep to... I have to read it from the... Okay. Although the pelvis is deep to surrounding muscles, organs, and adipose tissue aspects of it are easily palpable. Okay? So the superficial sacrum lies posteriorly between the hip bone. Okay? So the small coccyx and inferiorly from the sacrum. So the sacrum and coccyx, both made up of fused vertebrae, are considered part of the vertebral column. Okay, so you keep that in mind. Okay, so that the sacrum and the coccyx. Go, so that is part. This one is it. Okay, and when they say, you know, you know, when they have that hip replacement, when they say, right, you know, people feel that it's here. It is, it isn't. Okay, it is this one. This is, you know, it, you know, usually they will have um the neck of the, the femur. You know that's where it's replaced. You'll put something there because as we age or for whatever injury. But let, oh, we're not gonna get into that. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna get my um thoughts back. Sorry about that. Okay. So um so are considered part of the vertebral column. I've said that. So the femur is the longest, heaviest, and strongest bone in the body. Why? Because it's supposed to. Because we're it's carrying the weight of the whole entire body, especially when we're standing, walking, etc., etc., running. Right. Um. It's proximal and articulates with the hip at the uh, acetabulum to form the ball and socket shape coxal hip joint. Okay, so I did a video with regards to that. That is that. Okay, so portions of the proximal femur are partially accessible. The femoral shaft is surrounded by the thick muscles of the thigh, while the distal end of the femur is superficial. So the distal femur articulates with the proximal tibia. To form the tibiofemoral knee joint. Okay, so the tibiofemoral joint is a modified hinge joint, which means it can flex and extend, and when in a flex position, can medially and laterally rotate the, the knee. Okay, this is really important. Okay, this could also come out in board, board exam for the CMTO and, and uh, for the MCQ, both like theory and practical ex, um, board exams, right? Because of but keep it okay. I'm gonna repeat this. So the tibiofemoral joint is a modified hinge joint. Okay, it's very stressed out, which means it can flex and extend, and when in a flex position, can medially and laterally rotate the knee. Okay, I'm gonna show you that later on. So I have to put a note on that. And again, I have to present four sixty-five. Okay, so I'm um, looking at the area here, um, the lateral view, bones uh, of the hip again, so ischium, the pubis, and the uh, ilium. I want you to see how it's in a lateral view. So the shape of the pelvis is different in females and male, right? Because for female, I did a video with regards to that. It's giving more room for the baby. Female uh, pelvis is broader for carrying a delivering a child. It has a wilder iliac crest, a larger uh, pelvic bowl, bowl, my apologies, and a greater distance between ischial tuberosity so this is the male this is the female and we all know all you know that this is very um um common again um this is channel is about um you know trying to recall the information and have it as permanent information okay as i joined the sacrum the coccyx the 
hip joint, the femur, the sacral coccygeal joint. Some people pronounce it very fast and good. Lumbar vertebrae, I'm not one of these people. Ilium, pubis, and of course the ischium, right? Which is um, composing of the hip, right? Because it, this is the hip, but when you have a hip replacement, it is usually that this one is the one that is being replaced. Okay, see you guys in the next video.